Yo, 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 what's up YouTube goers with another awesome YouTube video. I'm um, starting with the AVP Aliens vs. Predator. I picked this bad boy up also last month at the Ceremony Toe Show. Got a good deal, it's 50 bucks. Um, went around different places and some people were asking for 80, 100. So I just went with the lower price, was 50. Um, starting with the base. Okay, so let's start with the base. Very nice detail with the base. Um, the base has a switch on the bottom that turns on. And like I said, it's not really nothing special with the base. It doesn't make sound effects or nothing. The lights only glow and the eggs are, you know, glow. And then these eggs, you can actually open them. And I didn't know that. Um, they come with three jumpers. Oh, excuse me, with my fingers. They come with three jumpers. And one jumper is right here. You can see already, like he's ready, about to come out of his egg and jump on someone's face. And then I have one like on the side, like he tried to jump on someone. He put this on a predator or alien. And it's really nice how they did the detail with the alien on um, face jumper. Very nice. Um, excuse my language, but this looks like the bottom of the jumper. It looks like a pussy. I mean, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. And you go, ah! <laughs> Nah, I'm just playing. So, um, yeah, so moving on with the figure. It kind of sucks that. This figure doesn't have the switch on the side to turn on, and I can show you guys what it is. Because if you want to turn it on, you gotta take them off, and then you gotta turn it on, and it's like I don't know. On um, the alien, let's start with the alien. The alien is really badass, really detailed, really nice sculpted. I love how they did it. His mouth opens and closes. The little thing when he s kills people, with his tongue, he could actually push it in and poke it back out. I love how the, the head sculpt is. It's just wow. I mean, it's really smooth and silky. It's just like real, like a real alien, like how they look in the movie. Um, his tail's flexible. You can move it up or down sideways. The figure itself is actually flexible, so you can have him in different poses. You can have him on the floor. You can have him like this, or you can have him in a fighting pose, or, you know, whatever pose you're comfortable with putting him in. I mean, this figure itself is really detailed. It's really nice, from sculpted from top to bottom. And the old company who makes these toys is Spawn, who made the Spawn toys. I don't know the actual name, but I believe the figure itself, they don't make them no more. So, like, you can see right here, that's where you push his little tongue in, and he, you know, that's when he does his final kill on people. I mean, this figure is really nice. It's really... I mean, I'm not really an Aliens fan. I probably care more for the Aliens more than the Marines. And, you know, this figure is just worth it. Um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not an Aliens fan. I never followed the movies that much. I mostly followed the Predator movies, and I'm more a Predator fan than Aliens. But I picked this one up because when MVP Alien vs. Predator came out, I was like, wow, I gotta get this. So, you know, I wasted a lot of money a couple of times at the toy shows at Ceremony before. But I could proud to say I'm happy that I got this one. Um, starting now, starting with the Predator. The Predator is really nice, actually. Really nice detail. I love how they did the sculpting on this guy. It's just, um, he's flexible, but he's not that posable, just like the um, alien. Um, he only could, like, move a certain way. You can't put his legs straight. You can't put his arms straight forward. That's how his body is posed. Let me try to zoom into his face right there. Yeah, so right there, I love how they did that head sculpt. It sucks he didn't come with his mask and could, like, take off and put it on again. But I understand. You can't, like, make a figure. You can, like, remove the jaws like they did with the Hot Toys ones. Um, I miss my Hot Toys, excuse me. But, you know, love the detail. Love the, the, the way they made the Predator. And it's really badass. I, I mean, I got to admit. I mean, these figures, I like the detail ones. Like I said, I prefer these than the crappy figures that they be selling at Toys R Us or Target. Like I said, they're expensive, but you got to pay more for them. Um, the skeletons around the Predator, I love it. Um, this is his trophy kills of people he killed and animals he killed throughout the years and future. Um, so he carries his trophies around him, and that's really nice. Comes with a little black thread I mean nothing a big deal comes with his gun patch on his shoulder you actually could take it off if you wanted to and he comes with his little gun that shoots alien soldiers anything that gets in his way comes with his claws 
I don't really like how they did his claws. I think they should have made it like nice hard metal. Instead of making it plastic, when you take it out of the package, it was bent. So I had to kind of straighten it out. And yeah, and then we got the nice bottom of his feet. And really nice detail. And then right on the side right there, right here, is his time donator. If he loses to the alien or whoever, that's when he blows himself up. Um, so three things I don't like about this figure, though. One is, like I said, the base. To turn it on, it's on the bottom. And I think that was kind of stupid how they made it. They should have put the switch like on the side of the egg or something. Two, these figures are hard and pain in the ass to stand. Because normally when I was trying to put them in a good fighting post stand, they're always falling over each other or falling off. And I was getting pissed. And it was hard to um, stand these guys. And let's see, two... I mean, uh, excuse me, three. Um, the problem is with these figures, it's not really the aliens, mostly the predator. You know how, like, when you put these figures on their stance, they're, the black paint on the bottom of their feet, like, kind of mostly their claws, like, right there. It normally gets scratched as easy, and that's really pain in the ass. But it's not really a big deal. You can't really tell. What I'm just trying to say is they should put, like, better paint on these figures, especially when it comes to the predators, instead of putting cheaper paint. I mean, you guys put so much detail in these figures. I think you guys should, you know, work it up a little. But my whole point is, they're hard to, you know, stand. And um, like I said, there's nothing wrong with the figure. I'm just putting my suggestions and how I feel about this figure. But anyways, you two goers, let me know what you think of this figure. Feel free to leave comments. If you're an AVP Aliens vs. Predator fan, I recommend this to you guys. And... I recommend Predator. If you guys are Predator fans, get it. If you're Aliens fans, then get it. Which side would you choose? See you guys later. Late. Ooh.